Hello and welcome to another video. Once again, we have our guest commentator and uh, we're in a new car, I believe. Absolutely, the Auto Bianchi A112 of Bath. Quite a change of pace from the FT1500. A much slower car. Got to use comfort tires on this one and must use the hards. Excellent, race underway. Not exactly flying off the grid there, were they? No, I think we're all we are so, so much used to a much faster car at the moment. Look, look at these. They look quite pedestrian on those. Tepic is down in fifth already at the start. He's had an appalling start. Yeah, it's so difficult to tell because obviously they're very slow, these uh, these cars and the diesel path, and they're 1985, so I they think they're very, very slow. Yeah, they're very slow, but it does, I mean, look every, how close the field is at the moment. This is what I like about the slower cars, is it does bunch the field up uh, somewhat. Because um, people's abilities are, you know, sometimes they're flattered by the car. Some people can't get on with the faster cars, some people prefer the slower ones. Oh, we've um, got a peculiar view here we're watching uh, from Robbie. By the passenger way. seat view. Passenger <laughs> seat view, yeah. That's another interesting view there on this game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a short track on this is one. It, what's this Mawabi? This is Mawabi, yeah. There's only seven turns on it, so it's a very short lap. The lap time should be in the sort of 55 second mark. Okay, well, first lap there was a 105, but that would have been yeah, off a standing start. From so. a standing start, they're always slower, but from here on, they should be in the sort of 55s and 56s. Has someone's got a penalty already? Yeah, I believe that was on his John. And, uh, yeah, and Tepic's got a one and a half second penalty. I don't know what that was for. Yeah, we're just cycling through the field now. And while we do, just look at those liveries. <laughs> Thanks once again, guys. Oh, Anton in the pits already. On that one, at the end of lap one, what's yeah. that all about? Ditching the hards. Oh, so he's done one lap on hards. Yep, it's it's the mandatory tire is to run the hards, but there's nothing in the rules that say you have to run them for one lap, five laps, ten laps. Ditch them whenever you want. You can run the whole yeah, race. Just, it looks like Robbie's going to make a move here on Jag. Uh, what's he doing? What's going on here? I think that's seen on the chase cam. Bit of a ding dong back. I love that AA van livery. Yeah, there's some, that's what I was just about. To say. Is he going out for a move up the yeah, inside? Up there, the inside, the yeah. Um, yeah, lots of great liveries uh, the guys have done here or they've I've downloaded. Um, which is another brilliant thing on this game. Very easy to make your livery or very easy to uh, download one and use it. Um, and it's wonderful to see these little cars with these great little liveries on. Yeah, they're quite easy to make. You can download the uh, liveries and the decals and make your own. Very easy. And uh, Robbie there, yeah, did, did made that move stick, but he's obviously not getting away. That's the problem with these cars, isn't it? You can't, you know, put your foot down and get away. No, you can't. You know, pretty much they're maxing out at the moment. You just saw them sort of going around at 80 miles an hour. Oh, 82, 83. That's only because it's a little bit of a downhill stretch there up to the giddy heights of the early 90s in miles an hour. Wow. <laughs> Makes a bit of a difference from doing about 150 in the FT1500s, doesn't yes, it? Yes, there's a, a wildly different championship. And uh, this one, is this a team event, mm, this one? No, this one is every man for himself. There's no teams on this. You just, you know, each man for himself, do your own thing. He who uh, gets the most points wins. <laughs> Look at the cars leading there as they go into the corners. Yeah, and um, also we've tried something different with the points on this championship, I believe, in order to try and tighten up the field so, so that someone doesn't run away with it. Yes, I think qualifying points have now gone, haven't they? So I think you get two points for fastest lap, um, and then the other points have been closer together, yeah. I believe. And not only that, qualifying itself and all the individual tracks have gone for Burton as well, because now the qualifying for the next track is going to be based on your results on the previous one. Yep, so hopefully that'll have the effect that the, the fast drivers that win will have to start at the back. In and the next I've actually got that wrong because it will be your positions in the championship. So if you're leading the championship, you'll be starting from the back. Yep, so that is going to put the faster guys at the back. Um, so hopefully that will uh, pan out okay for us. We'll, we'll see on that one, but hopefully it will. Um, what we're on board with now, so we've got a Robbie in first, Jag in second, and Interfy in third. Yep, Matty in fourth, Honest John in fifth, and Tepic down in sixth. With Naylor, that's a name I, I recognise. Yeah, he's been with us for a while, but he's uh, been missing for a little while, but he's back now, so it's good to see him back. Welcome back with Naylor. And um, yeah, we're only on lap five at the moment. It's a 31 lap race, but that's because the laps are really oh, short. I mean, we got the lap times down into the 54s already. Yeah, uh, also, let's look at these tyres. Uh, I see CS. Well, that is the Comfort Soft. So we're on Comfort tyres. Yeah. 
I know there's small slits on this one, you've got to use basically road going tyres on this, as if, as if you went into quick fit and had them, had them fitted yourself. So, so if we have any wet weather races in this championship, you won't need to change tyres? You won't need the uh, wet tyres, no, because these are complicated to Right, Tepic's coming in, or lap five? Or mm, yeah, I think in retrospect he should have followed Anton at the end of that one. Although saying that, I don't know how long the soft tyres last for. And he gets a three second penalty because he just clipped the pit lane exit line. So to add insult to injury there, we've got, uh, he's got a penalty as well. Uh, so I think Tepic prefers much faster cars than this. But also it will take time to get used to these cars from using the fast cars. Oh absolutely, it's a completely different mindset. You know, it's sort of, in the fast cars you turn into a corner Got, but these ones have got enough time to get out some knitting and start to well, somebody else did half second ago, so that can't be from the pits. In a warm, well liveried auto piano I mean, I don't think the world will ever use something as small as that, but uh, it's certainly quick on some of the sure. Yes, of course, so. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, half set yeah. penalty, so that must be a track on my that's, that's the point. Is he going to pull over to the side and go on strike for a few days? Yeah, you never know. We've <laughs> uh, got Anton there in six. Yeah, so, Anton's pretty low down there for him. But, but yeah. don't forget, he stopped he on lap one. He did stop on lap one. He lost him a lot of places at the start because obviously on the first lap, he was much So we'll, do, we, do we think he'll go to the end or will he stop again? I mean, it, He's going to try and do 30 laps on soft tyres. I'm not sure that's possible. It's, um, I mean, looking at the tyre wear on and for the other soft runners, that's on lap eight. 31 laps out there. Doable, but it's going to be tight. Uh, Interfire moved up to third, I see now. So um, he's on the move as well. So we've still got Robbie in first, Jack in second, and Interfire in third. Does do my eyes deceive me? Is that Tepic just about to be lapped? You don't see that we can see now, yes, you've got to go up and roll it out, close it on Tepic. Oh, that's a disaster. He's down in the ninth. Not even showing on the lead ball. That's how it's But will Tepic have to stop it? Um, shouldn't think so. He's on the soft side. So it's not a true place, is it? Because no. other people that haven't stopped will have to stop it. Of course, his tyres are going to be in better shape than Antwerp. I suppose because this car has a performance, it's going to be very hard to catch it. Absolutely, yeah. Pretty much the foot to the floor going flat out of these. As we can get on about 94. I saw 94 there, and that was what we were doing. What about that? Are we really still in six? He'll make those places up. Five races in total, so oh, it's only yeah, race so, five, you know. Yeah, yeah, moves out of the way of Jag there. No problem with Jag out because uh, Jag was closing in on Robbie at the time, so you know, let them carry on with their fight. We've got uh, Interfly in third. You've got me saying Interfly now, it's into F6, isn't it? Uh, Jag in the pits, <laughs> as we can see, on the uh, lap, 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 lap 18. So lap 18, we've skipped a bit of it. We have skipped a bit. Um, Jag's actually done two steps. I 
Anton's up to fault at the moment. I think Anton's move is the way to go. Robbie has a stop yet. So they're still on the soft tyres. Jack's, po Jack's position's in third. If he stopped twice, then that's... Well, he's about to stop again. We were on with uh, Robbie. Look at Robbie's front left tyre. Oh, it's almost down to the canvas. And the same with Interfire there. Yeah, he's on um, front left. He's terribly good. Yeah, that's... Oh, whoa! That's, who was that? Was front left was completely gone. Well, we have skipped on again. That's... And that's why, so we're near the end of the race, sorry, 27 laps. So yeah, Anton's got no front left. Yeah, that's, that must be understood. Robbie's on hard now, so he's obviously slowed down. Uh, but Interfire's still out there on softs, he hasn't stopped on it. He's not stopped on it. I mean, if, if Anton's tyres are completely red on the left front, then... Um, Let's see where, but, where he is. So, yeah, Anton's, Anton's still, still running on him. He's, he's making it. So he must have some. Lap time? He's doing 55s. Oh, come on, on the tyre that's completely dead. Well, he's last well. lap to 55.5. Uh, fastest lap is Robbie at 53.9. So he's a, he's a second or two off now. Yeah, but two seconds off completely. Considering the tyre is completely but dead. Look and he's, he's battling for the lead. He's closing up on Robbie, and Robbie's on the hard tyre. Yeah, but he's got no tyres at all. I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, and he's, he's obviously able to live with whatever problems that tyre's going to be giving him. But uh, he's made well, it work. He's in the second. I really believe that. No. Um, we need to see how he defines tyres. He's been on the down 28 laps. Like he's on 28 laps. Ah, here we go. He's, here he is. We're on board with him now. Yeah, and he's, he's both tyres are completely, completely shot. So much so that Matt is able to, uh, I think he's just unlapped himself. There. It's hard to see on the track map where, oh there's Anton, he's not actually far behind. No, um, that's going to do for the point of view, I think. It's so we're on 30 now, so yeah. it's fine, he's, 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 he's got, got to pit for the, for the hard, so also get to one minute. So, and then we're back on ball van to do yeah. Is Is, is Interfire going to get out in front of him? That's the big no. question. We don't chance. need no fuel though, does he? Is it just well, a... No, but the pit stops far too long. So Even Anton's just changing going tires, past the exit now, where does he yeah. fire come out? He's still got he's, out the bits. No, he's, he's dropped down to four, I think. Is, is Jack going to get him? Jack's got him. So, yeah, he's down to four. So. Jack's up to third. Anton. Ah, here he comes yeah. out now. Ah, so that was uh, leading for a long time there, but uh, all gone in the pit stops. Yeah, but it's interesting to see that when your tires are completely dead, you can still run. Yeah, I mean, that's on there. We've got 55.8, 55.8. These times are consistent on no tyres. Yeah. Even. And pitting at the end of lap one and getting rid of the hearts. And look at it, he's gone from effectively the last place to first in these cars. Yeah. I could expect it in something faster, <laughs> but in these, blindly. And here that he is, is coming just, up to the He's just completely now. blindsided everybody with that strategy. Well, well done, Anton. Yeah. Good win there. And Very we've well got done, uh, Robbie Anton. coming in second there with his yeah. on the hearts. And yeah, good uh, result for Jag in third there. Yeah. We did two stops and then uh, four for Interfire. So, yeah, one of those. Uh, nice to see a different race, though, I think. Yeah, look how close this is running. I mean, all right, um, PC Code is a lap behind, yeah. but Tepic well, nearly got into six. Exactly, right on the line there. Yeah. So I think we've got some really good races coming up with this. Um, where are we next week? The Nordschleife. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, yes. The gr good. Otherwise known as the Green Hill. Yes, it's really, really long lap. It's going to be... 20 minutes? <laughs> I don't think it's quite going to be that long, but even so, it's going to be going to be a long lap and uh, poor old Anton's going to have to start last after winning this race oh yes right well that's going to be one for you to watch uh, hit the like if you liked it as always and we'll see you at the Nord Life next week thanks for watching bye